Okay, I'm here doing some uh, coding challenges uh, in prep for my technical interview tomorrow. I've learned from my technical interview from yesterday. Um, I'm learning that I could really use more practice just doing challenges. I need practice just like working under pressure, working with the time like 15 minutes per challenge, and uh, just like just coding and just writing. Just 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 do the thing, you know. Uh, so that's what I'm practicing today. I'm going to try my next one called Anagram Diff. Uh, so we'll get a look at this, and I'm going to put my timer on for 15 minutes. All right, timer's going. All right. Anagram is a re an anagram is a rearrangement of letters from one word to make another. Given two strings, return the number of changes needed to make the two strings into anagrams. Uh, and if a solution cannot be reached, return negative one. For example, T becomes eight. Um, that rearrangement is actually already an anagram, so we can return uh, zero. So from here, I'm already thinking I can just um, sort the the words and just say, oh, if it's already sorted, then you're done. Um, T goes to toe. You can change one um, letter, A to, to O, and then that's one change. Return one in that case. Um, act and acts with an S are different sizes and therefore it should return zero. So there are some base cases already here. I think I already have a pretty good idea of like what I would do with this. Um, what do I want to do? I want to make some tests first. So I, ha I have some tests here, but I want to make some more tests, right? So um, I'm going to call this called anagram diff. And I want to call that on um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it takes two, two arguments, two strings. And I'm going to do the same thing but with um, x, y, z, or <laughs> x, y, z. Uh, and this should return three. Uh, if I put an extra letter in there, this should return negative one. And if I do g, f, e, d, c, b, a, that should return zero because those are anagrams. Okay, coolie os. I'm gonna just make sure that these are um, console logs. Alright, coolie os and let's make our function. Or right, so let's make our logic for the function. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm thinking is I would want to um, uh, check so check size check sizes um, if diff diff you return negative one right away. Um, store number of changes and then we'll return number of changes. And here I will, um, I'm going to try to, so I'm going to sort, sort both and compare. So actually, now that I think about it, like once you sort both and compare, you can sort both and compare and then um, if, if same, return zero. And then if diff, check to see what the number of differences are. The letters themselves are not necessarily unique, so I can't just like throw into a set and then compare the, the lengths of those two sets, right? I'm not really struggling with like knowing like the comparison. I could just literally um, pop off anything that's the same. All right, well, I, I, I'm trying to think about like a quick way of doing it, a quicker way of doing this than just like the roundabout way of doing it. Uh, check diffs return, so return number of differences. I'm gonna help. Uh, I'm gonna have a help function with that, maybe. Okay. Uh, I think I'm okay with this. Just coding it. Um, this doesn't require much time. Time the checking difference is super quick. Com sorting both and comparing is pretty quick too. Um, the only thing that takes time is this part. Anagram diff. So. Um. S1 and S2. So I'm pull this in here. Check sizes, okay. If s one dot length is not equal to s two dot length, return negative one, negative two. Okay, okay. Uh, store number changes. 
Um, so I'm going to say if s1 dot, oh man, what are you doing? s1 dot split dot sort dot join is equal to the same thing on the other one. Turn zero. Okay, so I'm going to see if these work already. I'm just trying to check it out. Node challenges anagram zero and undefined and the negative one. Uh, undefined for the number three. Yes, that makes sense. All right, cool. So they are working so far. Um, so now I need to. Yeah, so number of changes. Let out equal uh, changes change count <laughs> equal zero. Uh, I'm gonna say while uh, I think this hmm, this like this methodology is something I could split off. Um, sort string. So I'm sure should I be making changes directly to the strings? Uh, that should be okay, I guess. So I don't think sorting is gonna work, right? Because they're letters. I think this this logic here is the thing I'm struggling with. The the last one here, this differences, because there's so many ways of checking differences. So all I need to do is like really get the number of differences, right? Can I just split them into an array and then? Uh, I, don't, I hate doing this, but hit, like get a history, making a hash table. Um, for const letter in s of s1 if you don't have if you're not in the history letter then you are now and then let's set you equal to one else you have been seen before and we're just going to increment you by one So for the same thing, we go through um, each letter of S2, uh, diff, or I guess change count is already there. All right, okay, so each letter of F2, um, if you're not in the history, if you're a letter that's not in the history, well then the change count, change count, uh, goes up. Else, if you are in the history, we're going to decrement you. And if by decreasing you, you are less than one, or sorry, less than zero, then we also include change count because that means that you were less than what you should be. And that should go. That should do it. I think. So let's check that out. Zero and three. Yeah. Um, that's like a lot messier than I want it to be. I mean, let me stop the timer. Uh, I had two minutes left on that one. I was really, I was really, really, really trying to avoid using a hash map, but I was just like, nah, I, I gotta use it. Um, we have five minutes left. So this is uh, storing um, first words, letters, letter counts. I was trying to avoid using uh, an object or a hash map, and uh, I was just like, hey, let's just use a hash map. Like it's like the solution to everything, so why not? Um, saves. So it's kind of like uh, a way of storing all the letters from the first uh, word, and it, it also keeps a count on each letter because uh, you may have uh, repeats. So all this, all this does is just like adds. Um, the each letter along with the count for uh, each word for the for the first word, then for the second one. Uh, so let's see. This is me um, storing letters and letter counts for first word. 
now here I go through it and I compare letters letters and letter count let, just letters um, from second work and what it's doing is it's going through each and then if it doesn't find the letter that means there's a change that needs to take place there and then if the letter does exist in the dictionary or the um, the history then I decrement by one and anytime I decrement and my count is less than zero that means that I've missed or the the, the counts for that letter it was actually greater in the second word than in the first therefore that's sort of a difference to also keep it to, to count uh, and so I, I, I increment the change count by one there and those are the only times that you would ch um, find, have a difference and then I return the, the count and that's how it works so uh, this works um, better than I probably would have coded in the middle of being stressed out uh, but coming to this it, it was this was actually a lot easier than um, I thought it was so uh, there's that uh, hope this was, this was helpful and uh, I'm see you in the next one